that I want to do is I wanted to get us back into that problem so we can think about what was it that you did and, and how, what was the problem all about. So I'm going to start right here. And does anybody remember something about that problem, what it is that you were working on from the other day? Anything you remember? You could raise your hand to share. Michael, what did you remember? Um, I remember how we had to sort of start, we had to write equations on how we could get other people's ages, like ju not just Wills, but like Ben's and Jan's. Okay, so figuring out some people's ages, yeah. okay, and writing equations to do that. All right, so here we go. I want to show you Rob's work and Sue's work, okay? So Rob said that he thought for Ben's age that Ben would be W plus 3. And Sue agreed with that. She said, yep, it is W plus 3. But then for Jan's age, Rob said, so to figure out that expression, I'm going to do 2 times W plus 3. All right? And then Sue said, no, I disagree with you. I think that it's W squared plus 3. So my question for you is, can you make sense of this for me? Are those the same? Will we get the same answer for both of them? And if not, how are they different? Okay? And whom do you agree with and why? I'm just going to add uh, 9 plus 3, which I got 12. So they're the same thing. So I actually agree with both of them. And that, because I, I guess if I also use it here, it would be the same thing. But, so if they're not the same, they're not the same. So what? So we do that. Okay, they could be, well, they are different because one squared and one is just like incorrect. One is just like time. But if you had to choose one, which one would you choose? But she said they're the same. No, but no, which no, one? no. Which one would you agree with most? Rob's. Rob. I kind of like Sue. Because it's Rob, it's much easier. Well, I'm, I'm, I like Sue's because her seems just simple. I mean, square number and add three. Yeah, I just got to Sue. Because you can show <coughs> two times five plus three, eight times two, sixteen. They're not the same. Yeah. So who do you agree with? I agree with Rob. So well, now I do because if you, because I, I mean math. That's just like oh. totally puts my own perspective. That's just wow. I, I did not see that coming. I guess I guess they only match up with smaller numbers. But I guess when you get when you get bigger and bigger, like they start varying in different numbers. So I would agree with Rob because I don't think that if you because if you I don't think if you square a number and you add to three, that's not really going to get you an exact answer like over here. Except it won't because you're just multiplying by two. You're actually squaring the number. You're basically taking the number, times it by itself. And then that's that. And then you're just adding it to three. Like I did for 12, I got like 147 compared to just this, which is just 30. But I, yeah. And then. So Robin's correct. I think I have, Amanda, would you mind sharing something that you noticed about? And can you decide who you think is correct here? And then can you explain kind of how you figured that out? Rob is correct okay. because um, he used the he's using the distributive property, okay. and Sue is when she says the W squared, it's saying um, that she's multiplying W and W instead of adding one W and one W, which would give you two W plus okay, so wait a minute. So you're saying that this would be W times W plus three. Am I following? If this one, if I distributed it, so tell me what I would do then. Um, you do 2 times w, which would give you 2w. Okay. And then 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, so then I do this way and then this way, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so now you're saying that this isn't the same as this. Nope. Okay, why not? Although I notice already that something's different. What's different? which was the W times the W plus 3. Yes. If you multiply W times W, then you'd get a different answer than if you added 1W plus 1W. I want you to look at the next problem that they ran into, okay? And see if you can make sense out of this. So, here it is. If you add their ages together, Will, Ben, and Jan, the total 
of how old they are is 41 years, okay? So all three of these people put together equals 41. So this is what one of my students wrote. My question is, could this be the correct solution? Why or why not? Okay. What you and your partner talked about, is this a correct solution? And convince us, convince everybody in the class either yes or no. What do you think? If you were to add 3, 6, and 12, it wouldn't equal 41 like it's supposed to. And and then if you add, because if you add 3 to, if you add 3, if you add 3 to 3, it's 6, but then, and it double that is 12, but then if you were to add those, all those three numbers together, it wouldn't equal 41 like it's supposed to. Okay, and why is 41 such an important because piece? Because it says right there that if you add all the total ages together, it equals to 41. Okay, and then I noticed, Taylor, that you said you noticed something else about these numbers. All the ages that they thought were correct would fit the equations that we came up with earlier, but they don't equal 41. Okay, so define what you mean for me. So if you say Will is 3, right, then how would you know that it's correct that Ben is 6? Because Ben is W plus 3, and 3 plus 3 equals 6. Ah, okay, and so how could you convince us that Jan is... And then W plus 3 times 2 is 2W plus 6, which is 12. So they did fit the that part of the problem, right? Yeah. But? They don't add up to 41. The last part of the problem, if you remember, it said, in how many years will Jan be twice as old as Will? Yeah? So I got two different answers for that. Tyler said that it would be six years. But Jan, who is his partner, that Jan would be twice as old, but Tim, his partner, disagreed. He said that it's seven years, okay? And what I thought was really interesting is they both used a table as their evidence. The, the number of years in the boxes next to the names? Yeah, the, this is the same, right? So 8, 22, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 22, 23, yeah? But something's different between both of those tables. Okay, so what's diff tables works and the other one doesn't work? So is the answer six or seven? Okay, think for a minute. When you're ready, check in with your partner and you can talk. Give it a go. Tim, when you know the like right there, Tim the one, he added the eight and twenty-two with the five, and, and then he started off and he counted the seven. And then they're saying the reason why is because you don't count the first year in Tim's table. Because in Tim's table, the first year doesn't the first year doesn't start at eight. The first year will start at nine because you're adding one the years after. And so if you start at, if you start with Tim's table. You just you automatically have it wrong because if you look, because well, it's got all these right, right numbers, but you can't start okay, so one year and say, oh, this is the first year. The first year it's eight twenty-two, but that's one you already know. You've already started with that one.